In Affinity Designer 2.2, you can create designs such as this very quickly with a new feature. Go over here, Vector Brush Tool. So select that and you can apply it in any color. I'm just going to use red and then you can just apply it. And I'm also using width of 28. You can change other settings, of course, modify it in numerous ways. You can also go to Layers and you go down here to Effects, just down the bottom here, with it selected, make sure it's selected, you can then click and add an outer shadow. Just makes it easy to see. So outer shadow, got that shadow there, and close. You could add other effects as well. But also, you can go over here to the Move tool, select that, and with the Move tool selected, you can now press Return. Press Return, and then you can modify the rotation, you can see that rotates, but you can also set duplicate on, and that creates a number of copies. Now you can drag over the label. So you can see as you do that, it drags, and it will increase the number of copies. You can still continue to modify the rotation, make it less or more. You can also enter the value. So you might say 1.2, which I think might be a better result. And once you're happy, click OK. What does it generate? Lots and lots of layers. So you've got all these layers. Now, of course, you could create this manually. It's not impossible, but this is a great way to experiment and create all kinds of three-dimensional light designs. So you can undo that, and you can then, of course, now let's go Move Tool, make certain that's selected. You can move this around, reposition it. Also, you can go up here, and you'll notice it's actually selected at the moment, and it shows the transform origin, little crosshair. You can reposition that, so you might want to put it there. You don't have to have it in the center. Again, make certain the Move Tool selected, press Turn, and then Duplicate, change the number of copies, change the rotation, and now it rotates around that position you've just created, just here. And that's it. Just click OK. And you can, of course, modify it, you can tweak it, go to the, eh, just go to the Node Tool, modify the design, and again, now, I think it'd be nice if you could just press Turn at this point, doesn't work, you have to go back to the Move Tool. So Move Tool selected. Again, you can reposition the origin point. You can put it inside there if you want. Press Turn, and then you can modify this. Again, horizontal, or duplicate, and number of copies. You can see it created there, or vertical. So you can make it go up and down, or distance, modify it very quickly that way to create some nice zoom effects. Unfortunately, there's no scale feature. That would be brilliant. Also, a scaling feature for the actual stroke width would be brilliant as well. As well as, of course, some color adapt sort of modifications would be really nice. But sadly, they're not in that panel. Hopefully, at some point, they'll add an advanced section where you can tweak other settings. That would be brilliant. So number of copies, but I'm just going to go back and set those all to zero and set that to zero and then simply change the rotation. And you can see the result of that and click OK. Designs still are editable, so you can select all of them. Make certain they're all selected over here. So all selected, and then you can go to the Node tool and you can tweak all these various points if you want, wish to do that. So you can modify it and distort it in other ways as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Please subscribe. Thank you much.